how to add or remove a camera cut track from a level sequence with C++ in Unreal. And actually, while we're at it, we're also going to take some time to link a few cameras to the camera cut track, then be able to switch between different camera because, well, that's the utility of a camera cut track. So let's get to it. But before we start, today's video is going to reuse some code we wrote in the video 22 of the series, so I recommend to go see that one, but if you don't want to, here is the code. And as usual, here we are in a completely empty header file, except the four function we're going to create today. Yes, four function. That's going to be a little bit of work but first before jumping in the functions we need two forward declaration right here we need the a camera actor and also the u movie scene camera cut track because we're going to link a camera actor to a movie scene camera cut track so we need both of those classes and that's why we have to forward declare them so first function that we have after that we have the get camera cut track from level sequence to retrieve the camera cut track that is currently inside the level sequence as input we just have to feed it the level sequence path and that function is going to retrieve the u movie scene camera cut track for us and since there's only one camera cut track per level sequence you don't have to feed any other type of identifiers because it's super easy to find it because there's only one so that function is going to get it for us then we have the function that adds the camera cut track to the level sequence so add camera cut track in level sequence and same thing you just have to feed it the level sequence path and as output it's going to return you the you movie scene camera cut track that you just created so it's just going to create the camera cut track for you and then return it at the end so that was the first two functions now for the two last ones we have the remove camera cut track from level sequence uh, that one is as simple as the other ones you just have to feed it the level sequence path and it should be able to find the camera cut track inside that level sequence and then delete it for you and finally we have the last function which is the most complicated one actually that function is going to link the camera to a camera cut track so link camera to camera cut track and for that one we have a few more parameters so first we have the level sequence path obviously because we want to know in which level sequence we want to add the camera then we have the camera actor that you want to add inside the level sequence and link to the camera cut track so we have the camera actor right here and then we have two integer to decide the start frame and the end frame of the camera cut section of that camera so if you have multiple cameras in your level sequence you're going to be able to decide okay the first camera is between frame 0 and 10 second camera is between 10 and 20 and then 30 50 whatever this is why we're going to provide a start frame and an end frame to this function so you can build your camera cut track with a bunch of different camera section so good that's it for the header file now it's time to jump in the cpp and we're gonna start with the includes and the first includes going to be the code of the video 22 of the series that we're gonna use to add the camera actors inside the level sequence so we're going to reuse that code for that and then we have all those includes right here we have five includes we have obviously the level sequence and the movie scene because we want to modify both of them inside them we want to add a movie scene camera cut track so we have to include the movie scene camera cut track and inside that camera cut track we're going to add the movie scene camera cut section so a camera section inside the track and inside that section we want to add a camera actor so we also need the camera actor so we have the camera actor that is inside the movie scene camera cut section which is inside the movie scene camera cut track which is inside the movie scene which is inside the level sequence <laughs> Yeah, we have a big hierarchy right here, but at least it makes sense. For all those includes, we need a few modules. We need the level sequence module, the movie scene module, and also the movie scene tracks module. So we have to make sure that these three modules are already inside the build.cs, or if they are not, we have to add them. So I'm gonna go back in there and I'm gonna check. Okay, I have my level sequence right here. I have my movie scene right here, and I have my movie scene tracks right here. So I have all the modules that I need inside my build.cs. So now we're ready to code our function. So I'm gonna go back in the CVP and we're gonna start with the get camera cut track from level sequence and for that one the first step is simple we have to load the level sequence so we take the level sequence path that we receive as input and we do a static load object onto it to be able to retrieve the level sequence at that location in your project so that's going to give you the level sequence which i'm going to make sure that it is valid because if it's not valid we're not going to be able to find the camera cut track that is inside that level sequence because well the level sequence doesn't exist so that means that it's not going to be a success we're not going to be able to find the camera cut track and we can say simply return right away but if the level sequence is valid now we can try to look for the camera cut track and we're gonna do that just like this inside the level sequence we can ask the movie scene to get the camera cut track super simple there's only one so that function is going to give it to us and then we'll be able to cast it to the u movie scene camera cut track which is the class of the camera cut track obviously and that's going to give you the camera cut track if there's one inside the level sequence obviously so here i'm just going to add more information to the user so if the camera cut track is not equal to null it means that it was a success we were able to find the camera cut track from the level sequence and i'm also going to return it at the end because obviously 
see that's the purpose of the function we want to return the camera cut track to be able to reuse it so here i'm just going to return it right here okay good that was for the first function now it's time to go to the second one the add camera cut track to level sequence and for this one as first step we're going to check if there's already a camera cut track inside the level sequence because if there's already one we don't want to add a second one because well we can't really do it we can only have one camera cut track per level sequence so here i'm just going to call the get camera cut track from level sequence to retrieve the camera cut track that is inside the level sequence that i receive as input and that's going to give you the camera cut track because well that's how the function work we just created it so we have the camera cut track right here here i'm just going to make sure that it's not valid because if it's valid it means there's already a camera cut track inside the level sequence and i cannot add a new one so i'm just going to return right away i'm still going to return the track to the user because why not i have it right here it's valid so why not just return it but we're not going to try to add a new camera cut track inside that level sequence because there's already one so that was not a success but that's just if the camera cut track is valid but if it's not valid well we're going to try to add a new one and the first step to do that is to well load the level sequence once again so take the level sequence path do a static load object that's going to give you the level sequence and then that level sequence we're going to make sure that it is valid because we cannot add a camera cut track to a level sequence that is not valid obviously so i'm just going to say that it was not a success in the case that the level sequence is not valid it was not a success i cannot add a camera cut track to a level sequence that doesn't make sense and then return right away but if it's valid now it's time to add the camera cut track for real to it so i'm just going to add it just like that in my level sequence i can ask my movie scene to add a new camera cut track here you can specify which class you want to use for the camera cut track in our case we're just going to use the default class the base class for the movie scene camera cut track so the u movie scene camera cut track that we have right here i can then cast it to the u movie scene camera cut track to be able to set our variable that we created at the beginning of the function and that's the new track we just created in the level sequence i'm just going to say that it was a success i was able to create my track in my level sequence and i'm just going to also return my track at the end of the function because i created a new track if you want to use it well you can here it is good so that's the function to add the camera cut track inside the level sequence now it's time to work on the function that removes the camera cut track from the level sequence so for that one it's going to start the same way you have to check if there's already a camera cut track inside the level sequence because you cannot remove a camera cut track if there's none so i'm just going to get the camera cut track from the level sequence same function feeding it the level sequence path that's going to give you the camera cut track if the camera cut track is not valid well i cannot remove that camera cut track because well it's not there i don't have a camera cut track so i don't have to remove anything so i can just return right away right here but if it's valid then i have to remove it so i'm just going to load my level sequence once again using the level sequence path static load object give you the level sequence and from that level sequence uh, i'm simply going to ask the movie scene to remove the camera cut track i don't have to make sure that my level sequence is valid because if the camera cut track is valid it means that my level sequence is also valid obviously so here I have a valid level sequence and then I'm asking the movie scene to remove the track from it and actually that's it we just removed the camera cut track from the level sequence so it was a success I was able to remove the track and that's it for this function now it's time to go to the last function which is the most complicated one actually so we have the link camera to camera cut track for that one we have more work to do we have to first make sure that the camera actor that we receive is valid because we cannot add an invalid actor inside a level sequence so here I'm just going to make sure that if my camera actor is equal to null I'm just going to return right away not going to try to do anything because the actor that I receive as input is not valid so I'm just going to return right here but if the camera actor is valid then I'm going to get my camera cut track that is inside my level sequence so get camera cut track from level sequence same thing we have to feed it the sequence path and that's going to give you the camera cut track if the camera cut track is also valid so if it's not valid I'm just going to return right away but if it's valid then we'll finally be able to connect the camera to the camera cut track and to do that well we first need to to have the camera inside the level sequence because you cannot link the camera actor that is not inside the level sequence to a camera cut track the camera actor has to be inside the level sequence first so i'm just gonna reuse the code we wrote in the video 23 to add an actor into a level sequence the actor is obviously the camera actor that we want to add inside that level sequence right here and that function should be able to add the camera actor inside the level sequence and return you the uid of that camera actor if that didn't work though my uid is going to be invalid and if it's invalid it means that i was not able to add my camera inside my level sequence so i won't be able to link the camera to the camera cut track so here i'm just going to return right away also if that happens so 
we have to make sure that the actor is valid, the camera cut track is valid, and the actor is also inside the level sequence. But once all these three conditions are met, it's time to finally link the camera actor to the camera cut track. And that's what we're gonna do right here at the bottom. So let's link them together. And to link them together, we're gonna use a section. And now it's time to determine where we want to place the section in the track. So do we want to place it at the frame zero, at the frame 10, 200? You can choose wherever you want. But to be able to do that, well, we have to first load the level sequence because we're going to modify the level sequence so same thing static load object feeding in the level sequence path that's going to give you the level sequence and using that level sequence we have to actually determine the tick value of each of our frames because as input we receive a start frame and an end frame but that's not how the level sequence works the level sequence works in ticks not in frames so the quantity of frames may varies depending on the tick resolution and the display rate because if you're playing your level sequence at 60 fps it's going to display twice the amount of frames as if you were playing them at 30 fps that's just how the level sequence works you can modify those values anytime you want in the level sequence so we have to make sure that if we're using frames like we are doing right now we have to convert them to ticks before being able to use them with the level sequence so that's what we're gonna do right here i'm going to use the tick resolution and the display rate to determine the value of each of our frames so the frame tick value and then we'll just have to multiply the frame number to the tick value and then that's going to give us the amount of ticks where we have to place the section in the track. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense, but if it didn't, well, don't worry about it. Just copy this line right here. That's going to give you a value that you can then multiply with your frame numbers that are then going to match the frame numbers that are inside the level sequence at the moment. So that's what I'm going to do right here. At the end, I'm going to multiply my start frame with the frame tick value to determine where to place the section inside the level sequence. When I'm asking my camera cut track to add a new camera cut, that's going to add a new section. And this is where I want to place my section on the track. So if I I wanted it to be at the frame 30 that's going to be at the frame 30 if i wanted it to be at the frame 10 it's going to be the frame 10 independently on the display rate and the tick resolution that's going to be on the right frame but anyway adding a new camera cut track we have to feed it the camera actor that we want to link to that camera cut section so just feed it the uid right here we have to convert it to a relative object binding id but that's the same thing you just have to feed it the uid and that's just gonna work i don't know why there's a wrapper around it but we just feed the id of the camera right here and then the frame where we want to place the section inside the track and that's it that's going to return you the u movie scene camera section which is the new section you created inside your track and if that section is not valid well there was a problem somewhere I don't really know what could be the cause of that but I'm just going to return that I was not able to add my camera cut section inside my camera cut track because well I was not able to do it I don't actually know why but it was not a success I'm just going to return right away if it's the case that way if it happens to you well you'll know where to start but if the section is valid there's one last thing we have to do we have to set the end frame because right here we're setting the start frame so we're just going to also set the end frame of the section so if my end frame is bigger than my start frame obviously that just makes sense if the end frame is smaller in the start frame we won't be able to set the proper end frame because the sections don't go in the opposite direction they are just going forward so the end frame should always be greater than the start frame that just makes sense so if it's the case i'm just going to set the end frame of my section using the end frame i receive as input which i'm also going to multiply by the frame tick value to generate a valid frame number which is the amount of tick where we want to place the end of our section because that's how the sequencer work it works in ticks it doesn't work in frames so we have to multiply the frame by the frame value to retrieve the right amount of ticks where we want to place at the end of our section so good that's it actually that's the last thing we had to do so now we can just say that it was a success we were able to link the camera to our camera cut track and now it's time to jump in unreal to test all that so here i am in unreal in a pretty empty level i just have a floor a skeletal mesh actor and three cameras so camera one camera two and camera three we're going to use these three camera to test the camera cut track we're going to add all of those inside the level sequence and give them each its own little section so we can test switching between all these different cameras so we're going to add them inside the level sequence one by one and we're going to do that using a little user interface as usual so my little user interface i can provide the path of the level sequence i want to modify so that's my level sequence right here and the start frame and end frame of my camera sections that i'm going to create but before creating the camera section we have to create the track so here i'm going to add my track i'm also going to try to get my track to see if it works and i'm also going to remove the track just to test this function also 
and then for the link camera button we have the link camera one camera two and camera three all these three buttons are simply going to add the camera actors inside the level sequence and link them to the camera cut track and when linking them it's going to use the start frame and end frame obviously and if we go in the graph we're going to see how it looks in the code so when i click on my add track button it's just going to call the add camera cut track in level sequence function the get track button is going to call the get camera cut track from level sequence and the remove track button is going to call the remove camera cut track from level sequence obviously for all these i'm just going to reuse the same level sequence pad because i'm modifying the same level sequence for all these operations and then when i'm clicking on the link camera button so camera one camera two camera three i'm simply going to decide which camera i want to use so either the camera one camera two or camera three i'm just going to save them inside a new variable that i'm going to feed inside my link camera to camera cut track function so inside that function we have to feed it the level sequence path as usual the camera we want to use so the camera that was set right here and then the start and end frame of the camera section that is going to be created inside the camera cut track so let's test to see if it works i'm gonna go all the way at the beginning open my utility widget scroll all the way to the bottom and then i'm going to let's say start by adding a track inside my level sequence okay i now have a camera cut track right here it's pretty good it seemed to work my get track seemed to work also if i try to add another track it's not gonna work because i already have a camera cut track i cannot have multiple of them so that's not working but i can remove my track remove the track it seems to work i can try to remove it one more time it's not gonna work either because i cannot remove a track that is not there same thing for the get track it's not gonna work because my track is not there but if i have a track in my level sequence now i can link my cameras to it so i'm gonna try to link my first camera i'm gonna start with that between the frame 0 and 50 that makes sense i'm going to link my first camera and here we go i now have a camera cut section inside my camera cut track that's pretty nice and i also have my camera actor right here that is now added inside my level sequence and now i can try to pilot my camera cut track so i can scrub in my level sequence and see that the viewport is now controlled by the camera one which is the camera assigned to that little section right here so it seems to work okay just to make sure we're gonna add a second camera so between the frame 51 and 100 we're going to link the camera to here we go it just added my new camera actor inside my level sequence and also added a new camera section right here right after the first one so i have my first section between frame 0 and 50 and then 51 to 100 and now if i scrub into that second section it should change my camera yes the camera that is controlled by the level sequence is now my camera 2 back to camera 1 back to camera 2 so i can switch between the cameras and just to be really really sure i can do the same thing for my third camera so between the frames 101 and 150 i'm going to link my camera 3 here we go it seemed to work and now i have a third section and if i scrub into it we can see that my camera also goes to that location the location of my third camera because it's now controlled by my third camera so i have my camera one camera two camera three and that's it so that's gonna be it for today's video and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye bye